Okay, so welcome to the second video in our base of videos looking at the, the supply and demand dynamics of the world oil market, a market which, as we can see in 2020, has seen price volatility, a collapse in prices in the early months, late spring, as the coronavirus pandemic, pandemic took hold, a recovery in price over recent months, but not to the level we had at the start of the year. I'm going to start this video with a little, with a little task for you. Uh, here are five changes in the market for oil. You have to decide, is it the supply or the demand curve that shifts? In which way? And what's the impact on the market price of oil? So here's a chance to press the pause button if you want to take on the challenge. Maybe take a screenshot, add to your notes. Which way do you think the, the price of oil will move in each case? So we have five factors. The first one, OPEC producers. We mentioned OPEC. The cartel all agreed to cut back oil extraction rates. Well, the likely effect of that is an inward shift of supply because less is being supplied at each price level and that should drive the price of oil up, assuming other factors, demand factors in particular, are unchanged. Second factor, a widespread vaccination program allows a relaxation of air travel restrictions. What did you think for this one? I would argue that would cause an outward shift of demand, more people able to travel for work and leisure. And again, if, if demand shifts outwards for a given level of supply, the price will rise. My third factor, the global price of renewable energy falls to a record low as investment increases. So productive capacity of renewable energy increases and renewable energy costs go down. What do you think is going to happen to the market for crude oil? I would argue here it's an inward shift of demand because oil and renewables are essentially substitutes. So a fall in the price of an oil substitute causes an inward shift of demand for oil, other things being the same that would drive oil prices down. Number four, improved technologies lowers the cost of extraction uh, of extraction of shale oil in the United States and Canada. What do we think there? I think that's going to be an outward shift of supply. It's now cheaper to extract the oil and bring it to uh, to refining. And an outward shift of supply should normally lead to a lower price. Large parts of Europe and the Southeast Asia experience much colder winter, winter temperatures. What do we think the effect is going to be there? I think that would be an outward shift of demand, increased demand for heating oil, for example, increased pressure on energy systems, oil-fired power stations, for example, and that should lead to higher prices. Uh, the crucial thing is to be able to use supply and demand analysis in the oil market. Very important, if you're talking about oil, make sure your X and Y axes are labelled correctly. The price, US dollars per barrel, the output on the, or the quantity on the X axis. If the price of oil is too high in the market, there'll tend to be excess supply. If the price of oil is too low at P2, there'll tend to be excess demand. So, of course, P1 is the equilibrium price in the market. OK, so what happens if there's a shift in oil demand? Well, uh, one of the factors we talked about in that little exercise was uh, a vaccine causing increased demand for air travel. That would shift the demand for oil out to the right from D1 to D2. Then you would see an expansion of oil production from Q1 to Q2. So the quantity traded goes up, the quantity supplied expands, but the market price goes up to P2. So an outward shift in demand causes an expansion of production, a movement up the supply curve, and also an increase in the market clearing price. What about a shift in supply? Well, there were some supply factors we mentioned. Here's an example of a fall in supply. Perhaps OPEC are examples where OPEC had limited production of oil. If you remember that one? Uh, of course, they limit production for a reason. They know if they can restrict supply to S2 for a given level of demand shown by D1, that's going to drive the price higher from P1 to P2. So an inward shift of global oil supply will cause the market price to rise Oil demand will contract, will move up the demand curve because oil has become more expensive. So just using supply and demand analysis, you can get good marks for analysis 
in your answers. Sometimes you can go further and think about two shifts in the market, perhaps a shift in oil demand and supply. Let me just illustrate this for you to finish with. So I've drawn a quite a big, big increase in oil demand. Maybe China starts growing more quickly. Maybe the economy start coming out of recession in Germany and the United States, the France and the UK. So global oil demand picks up. Now, ordinarily, the price would go up if, uh, if there was no change in supply. But perhaps there's also a big increase in supply. Maybe OPEC turns on the taps, extracts more oil. Maybe technological change lowers the cost of extraction. Who knows, there could be an increase in supply. And if you're looking for the new equilibrium in this situation, the outward shift of supply, can you see, is greater than the outward shift in demand. We know the quantity traded will go up. There will be more oil bought and sold. But in fact, in this situation, even though demand has increased, if the increase in supply exceeds that, then the average market price will be expected to dip from P1 to P2. What we're doing there is we're using simple, straightforward supply and demand analysis and applying it to a particular market, in this case, uh, the global oil market. Okay, thank you very much indeed.